Is Will single? If Will is single, I want to shoot my shot. How come yesterday you said my boyfriend watches you every day? He shaved his beard and kept his mustache to match you, joy emoji. And now today you're... What, what is this? I mean, what, I mean, geez. Bitches is devious. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Just die. Just die! I wish they had penis physics in OSRS. Me too, man. I wish you could see a little bit of me. Just a little bit of shmeat, you know, when you're wearing Bandos tassets and you're running around, like... Just a little peek, just a glimpse is all I ask. Ah, yes. You're... Bro, what the fuck? Oh my, that is actually infuriating. I'm not gonna lie, that actually made me mad. That, I'm actually a little mad now. Wow. The fact that that spawned right next to me, that's insane. Are you releasing festive merch this year, Bill? No. I'm not. I just, like, don't have a, 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 like, operation that makes me a lot of money from the merch. So it's, like, I really just do it as a thing for you guys to, like, get if you want it. I don't do it as, like, a money grab, you know? But if I was doing it for, like, a money grab, I would totally make some festive merch. Let me tell you something. I'd make the It's Will Christmas special with the mugs, the lunchbox, the flamethrower be great honestly the it's will action figure that'd be funny to like if i released an ugly christmas sweater but it wasn't like you know you know ugly christmas sweaters always just have like a bunch of patterns all over the sleeves and shit and it's like ugly or whatever it would be funny if mine was just like a sweater with like goatsy on it or something like just like a big print on the center that'd be awesome like that's a real ugly sweater you know what i mean Bro, I'm fucking owning. I'm actually sick at the game. Ah, that was stupid. Oh my god, okay, that was my fault. I got so greedy. That one was on me. That was truly on me. I don't want to talk about it. What insurance provider do you support? Uh, insurance is a scam. I would never have insurance. Are you serious? My god. That's so cringe. It's like the mafia, dude. It really is. It's like, uh, man, hey, man, uh, you might want to throw us a, you know, a few hundred dollars every month because, you know, if something were to happen, it'd be a real shame, you know? You might just want to come by and uh, maybe just give us, I don't know, 5% of your income. Otherwise, uh, something could happen, and it might be bad. It's li Yeah, it's just like indirectly threatening your life. It's crazy. Insurance is, I mean, that's like the darkest life you can be a part of you ever spin beyblades on a trampoline bro you had beyblades and a trampoline what the fuck what is, what is wrong with you man how a trampoline i've only ever jumped on a trampoline like one time honestly it seems like a fun concept. I had this idea for uh, public transit where we just have giant trampolines on like in different parts of the city and they're like massive, okay? And then you get on one and you're like, all right, I wanna go downtown. And basically all the like public transit employees, they jump on the other side of the trampoline and like, and, like super jump you. So you launch to the other, like over all the buildings and to the other tramp and you land on the other trampoline you would still need to clear air traffic bro you wouldn't be flying higher than a building on a tramp what are you fucking insane you would die what are you fucking stupid you would just be going barely over the buildings and then onto the other trampoline obviously anyway 
I was talking to my dad on the phone and he was like, all right, here's what you gotta do. This is what my dad told me as like inspiration. Do you, you guys, I, and I want you guys to listen to this cause this could probably help you, you know, somehow in your own life. Cause I was talking to him about the E30 that I saw. You guys might've saw it in my story yesterday. And my dad was like, all right, here's, you, here's what you do. You wanna, you know, go to your printer. I don't own a printer. And he's like, and I, you should print out a photo of that, uh, of, the, of the car that you want. And you should put it on the wall behind your desk. So you know one day if you're tired, or you like don't wanna stream or you know, maybe you just feel like ending a little early, like you can look at the photo of the car and that's what'll, that's what'll get you going. Or just, I don't even remember, it was just so funny. And he's like, I did that when I wanted a car and then I realized I didn't really want a car. That is just the most extreme boomer advice that I love. Like, I love the idea of physically printing anything off. The, just the premise of it alone is hilarious. Uh, not to mention everything else. <laughs> Bro, he's five hit points. Bro, some guy came up to me yesterday and said, hey dude, see you next year. But the thing was, I was gonna see them the next day and then I realized it would be a new year. How funny. Dude, that is fucking hilarious. Oh my God, dude, that is so funny. Did he actually say that? What a fucking rascal that guy is. My goodness. <laughs> I haven't played since 06, but I'm back now because the gaming industry now sucks. Okay, nobody tell him about Jagex. Nobody tell him. Welcome back, dude. We missed you so much. Well, welcome to Paradise. A game where the devs listen to the community. Wow. What a great, what a great game to play. <laughs> He doesn't know Exo Giggle. Nah, they're fine. They're not that bad. Come on. They're fine. They're all right. They're okay. They're not the worst. They're pretty bad. They suck. I hate them. Anyway, Solar is gonna be up there with watching paint dry week two. Oh man, it's gonna be way worse than that, man. Like I will probably have to just do Soul Wars off stream. It's gonna probably be like my grind after Irby. Assuming I get Irby someday. It's horrendous, man. I wish there was some way to convince them to just not give it a pet. I just don't know how to go about that. But that's fine. Sometimes you gotta do stuff you don't wanna do. Who played the shitty games in their parents' flip phone? I remember my first phone had this uh, pool game on it. Like you could play pool on the phone. I played the shit out of that. And I, oh dude, I, th it had, okay. My first phone, I think it was like the original Envy phone. It was like, it looked like a fucking brick. Am I? Okay, just a little bit of lag, nothing to worry about. Um, it looked like a brick. And I remember there was a Maxim lingerie app. And like I got it and it was supposed to be for like shopping for lunch. <laughs> so it was just like product shots. And I was like, whoa. 